We want to collect valuable data, but we want it so that you can easily do it and have fun while you're doing it. When I first heard of the app, I thought of Pokemon Go. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone yeah. <laughs> running yeah. around with their phones, you know, collecting yeah. samples. Yeah. So, so we're helping, we're, 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 we're contributing to a greater cause, but we're also having fun. And that's yeah. the good thing about it. I hope that you all become mosquito enthusiasts, uh, at least in, in trying to find those places where they are. So here we have the community garden, but as you look around uh, and explore, let's see if you find, you, you think that there, there is some standing water in places, and if there's standing water, well... You have a habitat. You have a habitat. Yeah. Yeah, so open your app up and then uh, when you find something, okay. you know, identify it using the drop down menus, take a picture. Okay, so here it is. So now do you want to do, is it a container, is it a plant pot, is it, tri is it trash, is it trash. a tire? Okay. Yes, I can. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger, but do you see all those red triangles right there? So here is the, the site that we found right when we first came in. Then we did this site right here where we found the uh, yep. plant pot, then down here, uh, we found a wheelbarrow. Okay. Might as well take And them. so all those triangles there are all the different samples. And I have not put any samples into my phone. These are the ones that you guys have done, but it's all going you know, into the cloud and then into the map we all share. It comes down to tracking the mosquito, which allows you to track the virus, track the disease. It allows you to find out where it is and intercept it. This is not just something in another country that's never going to affect you. No, this affects the whole world. This is going to affect you, your home, everything like that. The specimen should be right in focus, should be in focus. So then you can move your light anywhere you want. There you go, there it is. So can you move it so you can get more of the tail in there? There you go. You wouldn't think that a $6 microscope would allow you to see the things you can. But yes, it allows you to really, really get in there, see every little, it, like, tiny aspect of the mosquito larvae. iPhones and apps, like, it really changes the game for, like, a lot of sciences if they just know how to, like, work it. People nowadays, they're always looking for a good reason to hop on the next cool thing and go out, have fun with their friends, and this could be a way, you know? So it educates people, it makes them smarter, and it makes them more proactive. We're all big on our cell phones now. And to top it off, this is something that's not only going to impact you, this is going to impact your family, this is going to impact society. This is something you can see your kids getting into? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Because they all have, they all have uh, smartphones now. Can you imagine when this, is avail when this becomes available to the public? Make sure all my friends out here. Yeah. <laughs> it's called a mosquito hunt. Yo, 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 guys, let's go, let's go hunt mosquitoes. This is like, it's a fun new game that we just developed. <laughs>